Well, this is a pretty extraordinary scene. Let me explain what's going on. There's a strike today, which means that the port of Calais is closed. And that means that all of these trucks and all of these cars are heading for the Eurotunnel to get to England. And with the vehicles coming this way, so too are the migrants. All the way along this road and all the way down towards the Eurotunnel terminal, there are groups of migrants attempting to hitch a ride to England. They're having another go right now. So you've been traveling for six months. Yeah. Can you tell me how you came? Which countries did you come through? Uh, from Eritrea, I come to Ethiopia. Yeah. Ethiopia. And from Ethiopia, Sudan. Right. After Sudan, Libya. Libya, Sarabara. You know that. So and I broke uh, Atlantic, uh, yeah. Italy. Through Italy, France. Through France, England. That's my target. And so this is the last part of your journey, yeah, but it's difficult. So difficult, uh, you know, I stay two months here in the Kalis, in the jungle. Two months? Two months. What's the jungle like? <laughs> This is where he's been living all that time. They call it the jungle. Built on sandy ground near the beach, it feels like a different continent. Many of the tents are made from plastic and wood. The migrants do the best they can. Six months living here, no good uh, uh, home, no money, no, 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 no. Recently installed water makes life a little easier. Tell me why you left Sudan. Sudan, yeah, you know, even you, also you have no Darfuris has genocide, he has many things, someone to do. So you were frightened for your life? Yeah, yeah. In the, especially in Darfur. Did you leave your family behind? or had Yeah, yeah, yeah. My family behind. Some, are, some of the um, government kills them, especially my mother. Your mother was killed? Yeah. What happened? In the Darfur, if you come to the, in the village, yeah? They are in the village and then it killed the people inside the So she was killed by the Janjaweed? Yeah, Janjaweed. When did that happen? Uh, 2015. In this year. This year? Yeah. So here we are on the outskirts of Calais. We're close to the jungle. That is the camp where these migrants have been living. And they're on the move again this morning. Coming up this road, here are the trucks coming by, many of these trucks heading for the port. And of course, that means for these migrants, the possibility of hitching a ride to England. That's where these people want to go. The police are here, just a couple of officers. They're gonna try and keep them away from the road, but there are only two of them and there are plenty of migrants. And, you know, they're pretty desperate. They want to make this journey and they're willing to make, to take all the risks involved. They try to stop the trucks. Some drivers barrel through. Eventually, one has to stop. And here's the tactic. Disable the side mirror and now climb aboard. Armed with knives, they're heading for the soft roof. They're going to cut their way in. stayed on the truck sometimes for maybe an hour or two hours? Maybe four hours. Yesterday I, I didn't go. Four hours. 
four hours in a car, yeah. like a regular family car. Yeah, yeah. Where where were you hiding? In the in the back or? Yeah, in back. Whose car was it? Eng English people? No. No. Foreign people. But that, going in a car is difficult. It's, it's nowhere to hide. Yeah, it's difficult. But uh, I say, if you have dream. <laughs> Everyone has a dream here, but sometimes it's difficult to hold on. The weeks go by, and it gets harder to find a way to reach England.